Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin lecturing computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to test for equal and unequal variance, it's called the F-test and we're going to learn how to do that by hand. So let's say we are conducting an experiment where I'm comparing two groups of people, one who have a drug administered, and here's a, a score for that drug, and we also have a control group who did not take the drug. So we've got two groups of people here being tested once, which, uh, so we want to compare the means of these two groups, and to do that we need to calculate using a t-test, a student's t-test. Now when we are using student's t-test, there are different types of tests that we use, so I'm just using my table here to determine which one. I'm comparing two samples, so that means it's going to be a t-test, and I need to decide first of all whether it's a paired or unpaired t-test. So I've already decided in this experiment that it's an unpaired t-test, and for an unpaired t-test I need to discover whether the variance is equal between the two samples or whether it is unequal between the two samples, because that then will dictate the different formulas that will be used depending on whether variance is equal or unequal, and I cover these t-tests in a separate video. OK, so the first thing we need to do is to do some basic descriptive statistics here. So when I count all the values in uh, the control, that's my uh, designated x value, I count all the values there, I'll find that there are 12 values, and of course there are the same in the drug group, the y group. So when I add all of these up and divide by 12, the mean that I get here is going to be 18.50, and the mean of the drug group is 18.33. Of course, all these values added up and divided by 12. So now we need to determine the variance of the two groups as well. So to do that I need my formula. So the variance of um, the group x is equal to the sum of x minus x bar. So that's the mean we've just calculated squared divided by n minus 1. n is 12. And the variance s squared of the y group is equal to the sum of all of the y minus y bar squared divided by n minus 1. So let's go ahead and quickly calculate these two uh, uh, variances here. So to start with, I'm going to create a new column. for I'm going to calculate the variance for, for the control. So this is going to be x minus x bar squared. And I'm going to have a separate column over here for y minus y bar squared. So my first calculation is going to be the value for x minus x bar squared for 23. So that's 23 minus 18.5 and squared. So let's go ahead and do that. So that's going to be um, the value of 23 minus 18.5. That's equal to 4.5 and then square that value and our first result in here is 20.25. Then go ahead and do the next value of x which is 15. So that's going to be 15 minus 18.5 and we square that value and we get a result of 12.25. And we keep doing that for all the values for x until we get down to the last value. Moving over briefly to the y column to, con to ca help calculate the variance for the, uh, the drug group. So this is going to be 16 minus 18.33, which is the mean of uh, the uh, drug group, and square that first value. So let's do that. So 16 minus 18.33, and square that value we're going to get a value of 5.43 rounded. Let's calculate the second one. It's going to be a value of 21 minus 18.33. So 21 minus 18.33 and square that value. That's going to be 7.13 rounded. And I keep doing that until I get to the end of the column. So when I've done that, I get my all my statistics, all my values calculated here, and now the next thing I need to do is I need the sum of each of these columns, so using the sigma equals uh, for the sum sign. So when I add up all of these values here, I get a result of 167.00, and I add up all the sum of the y minus y bar squared, I get a value of 196.67. Um, I also need in my formula n minus 1, so n minus 1 here is equal to uh, 11, so it's going to be 12 minus 1, and n minus 1 here is also equal to 11. So now if I plug these values into my formula for variance, so my variance s squared for the group of x is going to be this value here, 167.00, divided by 11, and that is equal 
2 uh, so let's do work that out here so 167 and divided by 11 so I get a value of 15.18 and do the same thing then for the uh, other group here so I've got my um, so it's going to be sorry y's in here that should be so I've got a value of 196.67 divided by 11 which is equal to, um, I have that worked out here, 17.88. So I can see there's a slight difference between the two variances and my F test then is in order to calculate the F statistic I just simply take the larger variance and divide it by the smaller variance. So that's going to be 17.88 divided by 15.18 which is equal to, so let's work that out. point one eight and that gives us a result here of one point one eight rounded so now I've got an F statistic to, uh, so an F uh, statistic that I need to uh, compare to see if that's significant enough to tell me if there's a difference between the, the, the uh, two variances so to do this I need to use an F distribution table so here's one here and um, what I do is um, I need degrees of freedom across the top to determine the column and degrees of freedom down along the left to determine the row. So back in my notes over here, I need to determine the degrees of freedom for the X group and the degrees of freedom for the Y group. And these are simply, uh, degrees of freedom is always N minus 1, so this is going to be 12 minus 1, which is equal to 11. And the Y group is also 12 minus 1 equal to 11. So my degrees of freedom for, are 11 in both cases revisiting my table here so the normally the column is the uh, degrees of freedom for the larger sample and the row is the degrees of freedom for the smaller sample so just putting down my ruler here um, across underneath the line 11 if I go down to a column for 11 degrees of freedom I can see that my critical value is 2.89 so my my F crit is equal to 2.89 my F statistic is equal to 1.18 therefore my F stat is less than my F crit and what this means, what this tells us to and implies is that the variance is equal So this means then I can now use the T formulas based on the variables, uh, sorry, the variance being equal between the samples. Very often in t-tests we assume that variance is equal, but here we have proved that the variance is equal, uh, so therefore we can use the correct t-test formula. So that's how you uh, determine uh, if uh, uh, variance is equal or unequal for the f-test, uh, hope by hand. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.